Why is it just the most Instagrammable camera ever? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing, and I'm so excited to unbox and review this product. I literally saw it on pre order on Amazon and I was like, <gasps> So I've been literally waiting for it. I don't know what it is, but something that's like pre-ordered. It does psychologically make you just want it straight away. So today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Instax SQ1. This looks so Instagrammable and just so pretty and so square, like retro. This product looks amazing and I cannot wait to test it out. So first things first is it comes in three colours and I went for this like pastel, really cute blue colour. It's so sleek, it's such a nice product to hold. It's so square, which I think makes it so much more retro. Like I don't know what it is, but something about the back just looks so sleek. So inside the box you get, so it actually takes CR2 batteries, which are these ones, which aren't actually, I would say your everyday batteries. Everyday batteries to me are like AA and AAA. So it does actually come with these in the box though, which is great because it means you can literally set up and start straight away. So to insert your batteries, you literally just use the arrow facing down. So the next thing you want to do is also make sure you are buying the correct film. So the correct film you need to buy is the Instax Square Fuji film. I actually went for 50 shots because I just thought it was like a bit cheaper if you seem to buy in bulk. And there's nothing worse when you run out of film and you want to take pictures. So I always like to buy in bulk. So this is the one that I brought off Amazon um, and they come in packs like this. They are all sealed, obviously due to light sensitivity. Literally just take your film out like so. And on all Fujifilm cameras, um, you'll notice they all have this like yellow bit here and this helps you basically put the film in the right spot. How you do it on this camera is you just pull this little lever here. It's like a little black lever and it just opens up like so. And as you can see, there is my yellow indicator. So I'm just going to place, kind of just place it in like so. And then we're ready to go. Then rotate to your left for on. And you can see that it's flashing amber. And this means that it's charging the flash. So now I think the amber light just stays on now, just to show that it has battery. I think an important note to make when you are taking photos with this camera is there is a correct way definitely to hold it and that is like this I would say. So something else also to take note of when you are taking photos, you don't want to cover the flash and you don't want to cover the flash lamp face which is here and also you don't want to be covering the flashlight sensor which is here. Really important, you really don't want this to mess up your images. I can see there's actually a selfie mode so if you just rotate again it then goes to a selfie mode. So I'm gonna test out all these settings for you and show you guys the difference as well. What's so great about this camera that I've noticed is there's a really good mirror just here. Um, so when you are taking selfies, you can really see what you look like. So you kind of again get that kind of iPhone selfie vibe because you can literally see how you're taking it. So you can change things to suit how you want to take a photo. Also another thing to make note of what happens with Fuji film is when you take the first photo of the film, it's the protector. So that will come out first. So again, to the left to turn on and then my amber lights just come on. And the correct way to hold it would be like so. So that is your protector coming out. Oh my gosh, there is literally no better noise. As a photographer, I get so much satisfaction in camera sounds. And also, so when you've then taken your first film, it will then indicate here how much film you have left. So Fuji film tends to take around 10, and this will go down in number every time you take a shot. So I'm just gonna take a selfie on the normal mode and then I'm gonna go ahead and take one on the selfie mode and kind of do a bit of a difference to show you. Also, whilst in selfie mode, you want about 30 to 50 centimeters so you can get everything in your frame. The mirror is super handy, I can't lie. There's something about the square as well that I just love because I feel like it just makes it extra retro and that's the whole reason why I do love this kind of photography. I'm going to let that one develop. 
I'm now gonna turn on to selfie mode and kind of see the difference it's gonna create. Closer, it's been quite interesting to see. I'm really excited to see the colours, if it changes anything from previous models. So when your amber light is consistently on, that means you are camera ready. When you look through your viewfinder, you actually see a little circle in the centre. That's just to help with composition. Okay, so my pictures have developed. They've taken around 30 seconds, I would say. So basically, I've realised that selfie mode actually means it's more of a macro close-up photo compared to the normal mode. So I think this would be really cool if you are, not also just for selfies, but if you're out and about and you actually want to take a close up of something, it could be a coffee cup, it could be a flower, like something like that. I think that mode would be quite nice. So selfie mode also basically means close up. I just love the rawness of the imagery. The colors are so cool. And that is the main thing what I love about this kind of photography. So guys, absolutely love this new piece of kit. I cannot wait to take it around all my shoots with me. I think it's so important to get a little bit of Polaroid imagery during the shoot. It's so much more candid, and yeah, it just adds such a nice vibe. And also I love scanning them in and adding them to a film account I've actually just made, which is, if you're interested in seeing it, is film by RS on Instagram. If you want to check it out, I'm absolutely loving film photography. Only thing I would say about this camera, which is a little bit gutting, I found when I opened it up, was that there was no like hole for you to stick it in a tripod. You could do selfie mode. I mean, it's really flat, so you could put it on a flat surface. But yeah, that's my only critique on this camera. Other than that, I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. And yeah, obsessed. Can't wait to go and take some more photos. Also guys, in the box you get this camera strap that comes with the camera and kind of goes with the colours, which is super cute. But exciting news, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I've just launched my very own camera strap brand. And they actually fit the Fujifilm cameras, kind of with this attachment here. And I actually love the way this is Instax camera. Um, it just fits on perfectly and yeah, I just feel like it gives it more of a more of a retro feel and keeps your camera really sturdy. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more photography videos and I'll see you guys in my next video.